I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I have uh, started this and stopped this and re-recorded this about 400 times now because I just can't get in the flow, you know? The zone. It's just not happening today. So maybe, maybe that's God's way of saying, Katie, just embrace the suck. You know, <laughs> you know, because like I can't get this to flow the way that I want it to flow. So Jesus, take the wheel and uh, <laughs> just drive the shit show, you know, okay? I'm just a passenger today. So uh, <laughs> I'm not going to stop this. <laughs> if, if, if it doesn't work or it just comes out weird and awkward, that's what we're going to do. It was God's will. All right, so today I have a sauce from Peck's Peppers. I love Garrett Peck. I reviewed very many sauces of his. Truly enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure. Some of the sauces are insanely hot. Some of them are just insanely tasty. Today, I think I have one of those insanely flavorful ones. As always, don't worry. I haven't tasted it yet, so I don't know if what I'm telling you is fact or not, but we're going to find out. We're going to learn today, okay, with jala pickle. This is a jalapeno, no, this is a dill pickle spiced jalapeno hot sauce. I don't see how we could go wrong here, do you? Now, <clears throat> in true Garrett Peck format, uh, the back of this sauce has got an excellent write-up, I'm sure. Uh, so let's read that together here today. All right, all right. Peck's Peppers Jala Pickle Hot Sauce is exactly what you think it is. A tasty dill-based jalapeno hot sauce that is the perfect companion to any of your grilled foods, sandwiches, and so much more. This mildly spicy sauce utilizes fresh jalapenos that have been mixed with a bit of garlic, coriander, mustard seed, and a pinch of black pepper to create the ultimate spicy pickle sauce. Get yourself in a pickle today with Jala Pickle Hot Sauce. Please refrigerate after opening. Colorado Proud, and it is a 2 out of 10 on the heat scale, which is really low because, again, Pex Peppers can make super hot sauces. I've had sauces from Pex Peppers that are an 11, a 12 on the heat scale. So two on the heat scale? All right, I'm getting a little skeptical. It says the ingredients are jalapenos, vinegar, water, garlic, salt, mustard seed, dill seed, coriander seed, and black pepper. Okay? Okay. Let's, uh, time for the fun part. I feel like it's gonna pop. It it didn't. Yeah, I'm I'm not firing on all cylinders today. I don't know why. Oh, oh. I'll be darned. Oh. <laughs> that smells exactly like I would imagine it to smell, or like I wanted it to smell. Let me pull out my fancy chase of heat spoon. Let me turn my front light back on. Again, we're just doing this. We're just doing it. I need the light. I want the light. Accentuate my face. Thank you. See, that's different. There's a difference. All right. <clears throat> so, fancy chase of heat spoon from a big old face hole. You know, uh, I'm just offering a million dollar idea to anybody who wants to. Uh, I understand that Mother of Pearl is, is not super easy to come by, but if y'all can make one four times this size just to fit in my pie hole, that would not turn on. Okay, sauce it to me, baby. What do we have here? Ooh, all right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Looks like mini relish. Uh, that's sort of what it looks like. Like, not huge chunks of relish, but little ones. Oh, wow. More spice than I was expecting. A two of ten? Really? I'd give it a little bit more but it's super fresh. It definitely tastes like a pickle. Oh yeah, the jalapenos are an excellent burn in there. Mm-hmm, mm. And I really like the texture. The texture of it is, it's like, um, it's not super smooth. It does remind me of a relish, but relish is like bigger chunks. This is like relish, but like broken down, minced up or something. 
Mm -hmm. mm. Hot dogs. Straight up hot dogs. This is like a really great dill, pickly. Oh mm, my God, it's getting better. The more I drink it, <laughs> the better it gets. Oh man, this put me in such a good mood, dude. That's delicious. Oh my God. That's something that every pickle fan, every every pickle lover needs, this sauce. Definitely doable. Uh, I, I would say maybe, I guess it is like a two uh, out of 10 on the heat scale, but there is a vinegar burn that goes along with it. So I don't know if what I'm detecting is like a pepper burn or just kind of like a vinegary zing. I'm not sure, uh, but it's got a great burn. It's got a great tang, in my opinion. I love it. This is super duper good. Well done, Garrett Peck. Ah, do you ever make a bad sauce? Is that something you can do? I don't think that's something he does. Uh, if you, for whatever reason, not had any of Peck's Peppers yet, then you need to go to www.peckspeppers.com. You're going to go to his shop and you're going to see tons of sauces that this man has made. Because really, it's like he found something he's good at and he just decided to stick with it and put all his ass into it. Man is constantly coming up with recipes on his blog, tons of sauces, tons of seasoning, really cool names. I love it. I love it. And I love this sauce. Garrett Peck, thank you so much for sending this to me. We've got two more sauces from the lineup to review, which I'm really looking forward to. I've got to the moon, so keep your eyes open for that. And then I got gold rush, so we're going to see what that's all about. But right now, right now, we're not going to talk about these guys. We're not talking about these guys. Right now, all eyes... Right now, all eyes are on a holla pickle. So, yeah, go out there and get you some. Oh, I love it. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. Will not last long. God bless y'all. Take care.